Welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Thursday the 17th of November. The local media headlines today. Richard Branson has got his spaceport licence. It means the tycoon can now try to launch a rocket from Newquay within a few weeks. The licensing process has been far from easy, with aviation experts asking all sorts of obvious questions and, as far as we can tell, still not getting straight answers. But this is about politics, not engineering, so stand by for blast-off. Yesterday's licensing decision means Cornwall Council will now finally sign a contract with Mr Branson, but don't expect it to generate much revenue or local jobs. One country which will be pleased with the licence news is the Gulf state of Oman. The message from Cornwall is, don't worry about human rights abuses, we'll launch satellites for anyone. Meanwhile, things aren't going totally to plan at County Hall, as a scrutiny committee has expressed doubts about their officials' ambition to privatise Newquay Airport. And at Falmouth, it looks as if the local town council will be offered the chance to buy the Pendennis Headland for just one pound in a deal designed to resurrect the Ships and Castles Leisure Centre, which closed in March. The BBC was one of several media to report an official Cornwall Council press release announcing that the Launceston Leisure Centre is to close permanently in January. Well, that might be what they think at County Hall, but outside of Truro, and particularly in Launceston, some people are looking forward to taking back control of the centre and restoring local management. And they actually own the building, so they're in a strong position to make it happen. Pirate FM reports the approval of planning permission for health workers' accommodation in Red Ruth. The Falmouth Packet looks forward to the Helston Christmas lights switch on. And finally, Cornwall Live has some news about Dawn French. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.